P2P. Nugs are a little light and bouncy, not too much though. Good, good denseness to it, but not too hard. You know, we got good amount of moisture here. The smell is a uh, very strong, kind of piney, soury kind of tang on that. You know, you kind of, you kind of want that from uh, a train wreck cross strain. You know, I mean, it definitely looks like train wreck, and it smells a lot like train wreck. I ain't gonna lie, I don't really uh, smell too much of that pineapple strain there. But the nugs themselves cured very nicely. Really, really like it. Um, so, you know, so far, this is this is pr some pretty good flower off of, you know, touch, feel, and smell. So, good job up north. Good job. <coughs> Damn. In a roll on its own, that's pretty good. I know y'all who saw the, the little 420 live stream, you guys saw us smoke like a, a six flavor joint. This was definitely one of the flavors in there. And I'll definitely say it was a little bit more prominent than uh, some of the other things we had <coughs> in that joint. This is really good, flavor wise. Like, Potency wise, it's still setting in, but I will say off off of memory, you know, from smoking in on 420, like, <coughs> this had an intense ass head high, a little a little floaty, a little wavy kind of kind of head feel, so that's pretty good in itself, man. But yeah, shout out up north farms. I think oh yeah, this is this is from Humboldt, so you know, another good batch of quality flour. This one's indoor at least. Uh I generally like I know there's a lot of indoor growth in, in Humboldt, okay? But I generally like at the club, I generally don't see Humboldt on a lot of indoor uh flowers that we have out in the Bay Area and even in Sacramento sometimes. And like, I, I, I know that's just like what Humboldt isn't really known for. They're more known for like the outdoor and like greenhouse stuff. But they, this is some pretty, this is some pretty good indoor, you know? I know in the Bay, we, we got a lot more fire shit than this, but just cause like, you know, you can get something better doesn't mean that what you have isn't good. And what I have right now is pretty good. We're going about like 28% total cannabinoids in here. <coughs> Cool. <coughs> Ooh, so there's, you know, just four points shy of the 33% that we had on, I believe that was the watermelon short cookies. So, um, <coughs> that's pretty good. You know, potency wise, there's, or, you know, percentage wise, there's not much of a difference, but I do, I will say though, I do like this high a little bit more, um, the, than the watermelon short cookies. If I'm craving sativa high. Okay. Like overall, yeah, I like the watermelon short cookies a lot more. Because it uh, has that little slump effect at the end that I really enjoyed. <coughs> this one, not so much. Ooh, camera all shaking and shit. <coughs> yeah, this one, not so much on the, the slumpiness. You know, I'm mostly just getting a really, really stone kind of uh, sativa head high. Like I said earlier, a little wavy. Um, but it, it leaves me stuck. Like, yeah, I can say I feel a little bit more energized. But I feel like I'd be tripping up more on words if I, if uh, I had to talk to somebody, like, and it wasn't like just a regular conversation. You know, like if I had to take a phone call or something, probably gonna take me forever to talk about it. <laughs> oh man, <coughs> yeah, you know, the small little joints get me pretty nice and light, light and 
light load, man. Hope everyone's been enjoying their sesh up to this point so far, all that shit, you know. Hope you're having a good day. Hope everyone's 420s went fucking smooth. I'm recording this like the day after 420. I don't know when y'all are gonna see this, but yeah, I had, I had, my 420 yesterday was a blur. <coughs> Not really too much of a blur, but I was just so fucked. I, I just haven't been that high in a very long time. And funny thing was, so yesterday, guys, I was supposed to go pick up uh, some stuff for my cat. A uh, bunch of food my friends got her. They said they got her some litter, uh, a new bed, all this stuff. I was like, damn, really? That's like almost 100, bro. What'd you get it for her? Like, what, 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 like for why? And they're like, oh, because it was her birthday in April. And I was like, I mean, yeah, but it's just a cat. <laughs> but long story short, man, they were not up, dude. They were gone. They went, they went last night celebrate. They went, they went drinking last night, and then they said when they texted me back when they got back home. It, it was like midnight, so they celebrated 422, and then they drank more. And like, I was in, I was up there like in Davis for a fucking minute waiting for them in the morning. I was probably like in my car, parked for like 45 minutes before I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just hit up Freddy um, and then go over there. But yeah, man, they had a crazy 420, I guess, in the morning. <laughs> little little midnight sesh but yeah i think they they ended up smoking later too but uh, that's crazy they probably spent a hundred for that little little cat's birthday man <laughs> treating it like a little kid and on that note you know if you guys have friends who buy buy you gifts that aren't just for like you in a sense like it's a gift that helps you out or benefits people you care about that's when you know they that they care about you, you know what i'm saying like my friends are some real ones they buy my cat they bought my my cat bunch of shit you know they they know they know i love that cat whatever it is and and all that it's the same way like i feel about like uh how i feel about like when me and my friends like cop stuff for like our other friends kids and stuff you know you gotta show love so you know if you guys have any friends who do things like that that's some real ones you gotta make sure you keep those kind of people in your life oh shit i gotta relight this nah, i'll probably just relight it later it's, it's damn near doobie yeah, that's about it for the, the roll-up section of this review. Y'all probably might see me take some rips or something. I don't know. If not, though, you know, that's it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop that like, comment, subscribe if you can for the boy. And a uh, real quick little summary on the strain. Pineapple train wreck. We got a nice, sweet little flavor there. Not too, too much. I should say that, actually. Yeah, it's just a tad bit of sweetness. A lot more tang and, like, Maybe even pineiness. I was gonna say gassiness, but it's it's probably more piney that I'm smelling right now. I just I'm just loaded and I can't get my shit together right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, on on taste without without it being lit up, that was it's pretty good. Um, definitely though, like I think uh, I, I definitely enjoyed the bong rips out of this more. You know, I, that I had on 420 tastes a little bit more flavorful than it did in a roll, which is kind of weird to me. Um, but hey, maybe I'll roll up another roll and correct myself later. Who knows? Um, but you know the high, very wavy kind of sativa high. I mean, a little stuck. I mean, for, to, to some people, you could you could probably say energized because I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I am a little bit more talkative now. Um, yeah, but I'm still stuck though. <laughs> you know, that's just how it be for hybrids. But yeah, that's about it, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, peace out. Peace.